Yo, what's going on, boys and girls? It's your boy, Oosh, and of course, we are back again, once again. How y'all doing today? So, um, we have finally the next chapter in the Dragon Ball Super manga, and this is chapter 72. This is Saiyans and Cerulean. So, I don't know a single thing that's happened. It's been a few days since the chapter actually dropped. I know that there's been uh, quite some buzz in regards to some of the things that happened, but again, I... I don't know what the hell those buzzes were about. I haven't seen any videos, haven't seen anyone's tweets about it since then. Um, I've been pretty busy with a lot of other things going on, actually taking some personal time to really, you know, enjoy the fact that the world is starting to get a little bit more normalized and, you know, being feeling a little bit safer to actually go outside and leave my house for, I don't know, like a day or two. So it, it does feel really nice. But we are finally here with some time to finally check out the latest chapter of Dragon Ball Super with a full reaction and my thoughts afterwards. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so here we go. 18 days later. We already got a time skip within this. How many time skips have we had uh, for the Cerulean uh, part so far? The group landed on Planet Serial. So this is Planet Serial, huh? Seems peaceful enough. The bad guy is lurking beyond that mountain. I don't sense any massive chi signatures. Maybe he's suppressing his power? We do that, says Vegeta. Good point. Getting any closer could be risky, so we'll, we'll hang back here. I do hope you understand. Sure, we'll handle it. Alright, so Vegeta's like chilling still. He got his arms crossed when he goes to fly out. Goku's like all ready. Good luck, you two. They fly out, and she goes, perfect. Go spy on their battle oil. Got it. Beep. I'll give you the play-by-play. -play. All right, looks like they have some kind of intercom system. Are you going to wait here, Maki? Yeah, because I just got word that they're about to arrive. Elick and gas. Uh, okay. So here they are. I haven't been back here for 40 years. Damn, that's a pretty long time. My memories of this planet are not particularly good ones. It's fine, gas. You've changed a lot since then. It won't be like last time. Right, of course. I'm telling you, I feel like gas is going to be the real problem because he, he's giving me like Kid Vu vibe. Kid Boo vibes, all right? He really, he is. He has like, he's like, you know, he's another like short character, but you know, you can never sleep on the short ones, okay? Because some of the, sometimes those short ones pack a humongous punch, okay? So here we go. Goku Vegeta are flying overhead. Goku says, do you think this is where the big villain went on a rampage? Vegeta says, I doubt it. These ruins appear to be quite old. Meanwhile, the new cities don't appear to have been attacked at all. Hmm, so they're kind of sus about the things that are that they're flying over and realizing. Ooh, Goku dodges a blast. Vegeta's like, huh? More ooh, okay, what the is it him? These blasts are deadly accurate. I can barely dodge them. Vegeta, trace them to their origin. That's where we'll find them. <sighs> okay, Vegeta powers up to Super Saiyan. Alright, it looks like Super Saiyan. Okay, and Vegeta goes, it stopped. Expect more. Okay, so Goku looks like... Okay, he closed his eyes, so he looked like he's about to be... He's he's trying to just go into the Ultra Instinct state right here. Vegeta goes, there! So he might be a, a Super Saiyan Blue for all we know. We can never tell because manga's never fully colored like this. Uh, well, I shouldn't say never, but you know what I mean. Alright, so Vegeta's like dodging them. Goku's like just... You know, he's just kind of like flying through seamlessly. Vegeta's like, huh? There's like, doesn't seem to be like there's anyone there. So they land. He goes, Tch. Goku's like, there's no one on, there's no one here. What gives? Those shots were definitely coming from this spot. Glint, huh? Vegeta dodges another key blast. Goku says, now they're coming from above. Okay, so they're still dodging all these key blasts. They're like running around. They're almost getting hit. They like almost get hit like a bunch of times. Again from the ground? You're saying he's moving faster than we can keep up with? Goku says, but that's not... Oh! Goku got shot! Oh no! So you know you know when the pupils like lose their lineage? Like with their, cir their circular lineage, you know what I'm saying? Like they, they, they have like cuts in them? It looks like he got like shot shot, like he's dead. Which is like, Kakarot! 
He goes, hey. Oh, snap. Goku looks like he's dead. He's like, die. Hold on. He struck a vital point with such accuracy from that far away. Damn it. Uh, here we go. Looks like they got they have some backup sensu beans. I hate to use any of our sensu beans before we've even seen our enemy, but eat up, you. We only brought two beans with us. Of course. You know, you'd think after how many freaking fights that these mother efforts have had, you would think that they would have a bag on deck ready just in case. But they always, oh, we only just have enough. We only just have two. Like, that's some BS, bro. I, they, they gotta they gotta stop with this. And really, like, their, their character development has definitely been on a journey for sure. But they are still making the dumbest mistakes or just decisions ever. So here we go. Goku wakes up. Sorry, Vegeta. Get up. The attacks could resume at any second. You rely on Ultra Instinct too much. If you haven't perfected it yet, then dodge using your mind. Yeah, you're right. Okay, boom. So I guess he's powered up to. Looks. I it really, it really can't tell. It's like Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan. It could be both. Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan Blue, right? Goes there. Goku hits a blast, and oh, he. It looked like he had him, but of course. My man dodged it, and now, oh, and he instantly vanished, and it ended up right behind Goku and Vegeta, and he shows himself. Wow, he goes, instant teleportation? No, it's even faster than that. Bruh, I have no name for the technique. It's just a small fraction of the power that elevated me to the strongest in the universe. Man, Goku's confused. He's like, Vegeta's like, so you're the one running... You're the one running his mouth about being the strongest. I am Granola, the last of the Cerulean's. Cerulean's? Ever heard of them, Vegeta? Vegeta goes, no, I can't say I have. You may not know us, but I know your kind all too well. Saiyans. And they're like... <laughs> they're all shocked, of course. So there, there really were some survivors. Vegeta goes, you hold some grudge against us, Saiyans? And he, and he elevates up. Why should I tell you? Either way, your tribe is fated to meet its end here. Uh-oh. Oh, sh what the? So, so Granola's like, he does this thing with his hands. Goku's like all shocked. They're looking like he caused some kind of like eruption blast. Like, I don't even know. I couldn't really tell what that was. A big old explosion happened. All right. And this, this, this chunky dude over here goes, dang, Granola did all that? Vegeta and Goku, I guess, looked like they just barely survived it. That was a close one, says Goku. Did you see that move, Vegeta? It was similar to destruction. But Goku goes, does that mean he can use our techniques? Vegeta goes, ridiculous. Uh-oh. Okay, Granola says, escaping into the air. You're stronger than I expected. So Goku goes, what now? Should we attack him together? Vegeta says, don't be absurd. I'm in no mood for teamwork. I came here to prove my superiority over you. Of course he did. Goku goes, okay, you may fight him first. <laughs> uh, it's the same It's the same thing, man. Repeatedly. Goku says, huh? Oh, wait a second. Vegeta said, you may fight him first. I said, <laughs> Goku says, huh? You sure? He's already hit you once, so you need to get paid back for that. Okay, all right. Goku says, I guess, yeah. He he probably wasn't expecting that. He was probably he was probably expecting Vegeta to say, "Let me let me at him first. So Granola goes, "What are you doing? Get down here, unless you'd rather be shot down again." Goku, he says, "Okay, I'll take the lead on this one." Vegeta goes, "Go on." All right, so he drops down. Goku says, "You're up against me first, Granola. You plan to fight me alone? You really are a tribe of fools." All right, this dude, the, the chunky guy goes, okay. He's like, oh, come on. They're not going to fight him together. So Vegeta powers down and he and he stands up, up a ton, like up upon some kind of like, like, well, it looks like a beaten up, uh, like tower lookout, something like that. This granola guy seems to be up to something. I'll keep an eye on the situation for now. There may be more to this than yet another villain to defeat. Where's the monstrous ape form you people are known for? Goku's alarm. You sure know a lot about us. Based on my own horrible experiences, yes. Goku says, we can't pull off that transformation anymore, but I can do this. 
<laughs> okay, so they definitely had to have been a Super Saiyan. Because then he, they, I could tell when he got that hair. Yeah, that's Super Saiyan God right there. Okay, so he powered up the Super Saiyan God. So then he goes, first golden hair and now red. I thought all Saiyans had black hair. Thanks to our training, we've got a bunch of transformations up our sleeves. This one's called Super Saiyan God. God, a bold claim. A name that's at odds with a savage nature of your kind. Oh, yeah? Granola says, let's do this. He goes, ready when you are. So they're all wa Vegeta's watching. They have a standoff. Granola charges. Goku goes, he's fast. Damn, he almost freaking stabbed him right in the chest. Goku barely dodges him. Granola, uh, he, he like kips up off the ground really quick. He tries to chop him. Goku got the blocks up. Okay, Granola with the kicks. Again, Goku's blocking. Looks like Granola's just dodging or throwing out anything that he can. Granola's on the complete offensive right now. Goku says, I can't find an opening. And he's not backing down. In that case. Okay, so he's using Ultra Instinct in God form. I feel like I said this. I felt like since it's not a true power-up... He can then technically use Ultra Instinct while actually being in transformed states. Like, oh god. It, it truly is a technique at this rate. So, alright, so here we go. So, Vegeta says, Ultra Instinct? I see. It becomes more accurate when used in conjunction with a Super Saiyan form. <laughs> Oh my god, this freaking show. Okay. Alright, so now Granola jumps up. Oh. Oh, he has a he's like a ten finger blast coming. Eat this! Oh yeah, ten missiles coming. Goku literally just ultra instinct dodges all of them. Wow. Oh, but he's still yo, he still got hit in the gut. Boom boom like this. You almost got me there. I slipped up. Oh, you nope. You you got hit just now. Boom. Oh my god. Goku lost again. What? Vegeta? How in the that attack looked like it look like a little tap. God ugh, says Goku. He targeted a vital point again. My man is on his fist of the North Star stuff right now. How is he learning Kakarot's weaknesses so quickly? Your re reaction time is incredibly fast, says Ganrola. I can tell that your body moves on its own before your brain even processes incoming attacks. You noticed, huh? However, even a flawless fighter cannot hide his vital points. Mm. As you dodged, I observed your blood flow and muscle movements, and I learned exactly where to strike. But blood flow? Yo, Goku said, you mean you can see stuff like that? He says, this right eye of mine is the sharpest in the universe. It sees all. Wow, but Jesus says, sharpest in the universe, huh? A tribe driven to extinction, known for their evolved right eyes. This is starting to sound familiar. Uh-oh, Vegeta might have some knowledge on this dude. He's looking down. Could it be? So then he goes, and that's not all that my eye can perceive. You're still concealing your power, aren't you? Oh. Granola says, I don't know what you're up to, but you really don't have the luxury of holding back. Goku says, you're right. I've still got an even stronger transformation. Hurry up and get on with it then. I have no duty to wait for your sake. As long as the other Saiyan is still alive, I can extract Frieza's location from him. It's no skin off my nose to kill you where you stand. Goku says, huh? Frieza's location? What are you talking about? Granola says, don't play dumb with me. I've sacrificed my lifespan in order to take revenge, so I won't let you waste my precious time here. Goku says, revenge? Hang on, I thought you were the bad guy. Granola says, shut up, Saiyan. You'll pay for your crimes against the Cerulean's. Take this. Oh, my man got a power up going. Ah! Oh, oh, oh. Okay, 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 Granola. Oh, right, he's about to turn into Super Granola, like just like the bar. Okay, here we go. Granola's got an aura now, too. Whoa, you can boost your chi that much? 
as I mentioned, I am the universe's strongest warrior, superior, superior to your people in every single way. Talk about confident, Goku says, but I've trained a lot recently, so you can't claim that title so easily. Oh, yo, Goku went, oh, he powered on Super Saiyan Blue. All right, blue hair. We call this one Super Saiyan Blue. I couldn't care less what it's called. Just fight me already. Another round? Sure thing. You know, this, uh, even though this is a different scenario, I, dude, this is the same thing literally every, every fight. From the dialogue to the setup, how they get there, the villain, the villain or the opponent says, you're hiding something else. You have something else. I don't have time to wait for this. Just do it. Goku goes, you're right. Here we go. Like, it's the same thing. Like, oh my god. Like, how many more years of this? Alright, so now they're going at it. <clears throat> it. Looks like they're a little bit more evened out. Oh, oh. It looks like they're rumbling the entire planet. What's with these tremors? Look, there's smoke coming from that mountain beyond the colony. What the heck is going on over there? They're still fighting. They're fighting in the air now. They're clashing, going back. Whoa. Oh! Yes, Vegeta says, I see. It's all making sense now. I think I know who he is. Oh my god! So, okay, so it looks like this the town that they were fighting in was actually a town that got ravaged by this by the you know the great ape Saiyans all those years ago from Granola stories. And it seems like Vegeta now knows clearly who this guy is, or at least knows of his people. Um, maybe, I don't know if Vegeta was directly involved in actually destroying this town at one point. Um, but next chapter, June 20th, we're definitely going to find out exactly what's going on with this. So yeah, I definitely got to give it to this chapter. Um, it's crazy that I, uh, I, I, did, I did predict... And not even I I don't even know if I should say predict, but I definitely had a thought that if Ultra Instinct is truly a technique, then technically he should just be able to use it in conjunction with his Super Saiyan forms, just like he can with Kaioken. Technically, he could use Kaioken with Super Saiyan if he wanted to. He could do it with any of the Super Saiyan forms. He's done it in Super Saiyan Blue. Imagine if he did it in Super Saiyan God. I mean, that'd be a little ridiculous. But then again, I mean, it's like Goku has all of these literal different avenues of power that he can just tap into. It's like he's got if he had if we were to exemplify his power, right, as like a bag full of items, he could literally just whip out an item at his disposal when he needs to. It's like, OK, I can't do this. This is not working. Let me just try this. Let me do this combination. Let me let me now in, in involve this now. Ultra Instinct, guys, right, is is now essentially the better version of Kaioken. I don't think he unless he can't truly focus on letting his body just act on its own and you know before thinking and all of that mental stuff. Um, I feel like that's probably the only time we'll ever see. Kaioken used as a Zenkai boost again but because Ultra Instinct like why would he ever need to do that I mean I guess I mean why wouldn't he be able to stack that then at that point imagine Super Saiyan Blue with Kaioken and Ultra Instinct activated all at the same time I mean it's just like it's just he's got a, a, la a sandwich layer on layers of just all of these things it's just like for crying out loud, just give him Super Saiyan Rainbow at this point. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's getting ridiculous, you know? Ultra Instinct, I, I, you know, it's cool that it's like, it's a, it's a technique, it's not a power-up, but then why is a mastered version, like, white hair, where it really looks like, you know, it's, it's an actual transformation at that point. You know, there's levels to it. It's just, I don't know. Like, it makes sense, but it's all over the place, right? I understand it. But do I agree with a lot of it? I don't even know at this rate. I'm more looking forward to the exact the the actual story of how this arc turns out. Um, I'm not even looking forward to exactly how Goku decides to 
use all of his newfound combinations of powers. I'm actually looking more forward to seeing how Vegeta handles his potential fight with Granola if that is to happen. And I would like to see the interaction between Vegeta and Granola because I'm sure next chapter they're going to have that conversation unless they get interrupted. And I'm also, like I have been saying with every chapter, when is Frieza going to come into play? Because it, that, that is inevitable. We already know that's going to happen no matter what. So I'm gonna turn it over to you guys now. I feel like I said, I thought this chapter was pretty fire in comparison to the Boruto chapter. I'm definitely gonna give it to this one, of course, because again, more lore, a little bit more realization and a couple new things that we officially got confirmation and learned about um, through, you know, especially with Goku's transformations and power. So thank you all again for tuning in and uh, checking out this video. Make sure you guys are liking the video as always. Make sure that is the first and first, the first and most important thing that you do and if you're new to the channel please go ahead and hit the subscribe button make sure that all your alerts are turned on to whenever i do and um uh you know in a, a new video uh, if there's anything else you guys want me to cover especially now that we do have confirmation in regards to dragon ball super returning i will definitely cover more news on the movie when that comes out now with the new official dragon ball website that just got announced. i made a video about that as well Make sure you guys are commenting in the description below all of your thoughts, especially on this chapter right here. Like, share, subscribe again. Hit me up on Twitter. All that good stuff. Supporting links are going to be in the description as always. Make sure you guys are taking care of yourselves. Me, the power of tech. Keep it locked, loaded right here on this channel. Stay safe. Stay clean. Stay inside. I will see you guys next time.